Hey you guys, guess what time it is? It's time to get back to the mosaic, but I have a confession to make. I, um, after I built the whole sky part of the mosaic, I started measuring to make sure everything was gonna fit right, and it's not gonna fit right. Most of my mosaic is anywhere from half an inch to a whole inch too short in some places, and I don't have any more of that color of plate to fill in the gap, so I've been like, freaking out trying to figure out how I'm going to fix this problem and I, I might have come up with a solution. I'm not really sure if it's going to work or not, but I'm going to give it a whirl and let's see how it works. I guess there's one other thing I need to sort of apologize for. Um, when I was starting to build the uh, sunrise part of the sky mosaic, I did not turn on the camera and I'll tell you why. Because I knew for sure that I was not going to get it right on the first try and I was probably going to have to take it all back apart and try it again like two or three times before I got it right. So I didn't even turn on the camera. And then I built like I started building a sunrise. I stepped away from it for a few days because I wasn't sure I liked it. I came back to it the next day and I built it a little bit bigger <laughs> and then I got pulled away from it again that day. I came back on the third day and instead of taking it apart or fixing it or I don't know, I just kept going. I just made it this huge, enormous sunrise. So that's uh, that was the start for the whole sky mosaic.
up some thin sets. And I never really know how much to mix up because the instructions on the bag are always for mixing up the whole dang bag. So I just put like three cups of water in here and we'll see how it goes. You ready with that drill, Mr. Drill Man? that peanut butter consistency? How yes. do we know? What brand of peanut butter? <laughs> I think that's good. Because that was kind of like Laura Scudder's peanut butter consistency. That was not Jif consistency. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Welcome to my disaster. <laughs> so, okay. We're starting with this first section over here, the section that goes around the wave. that has to come out because that's like where the water pipe is and I don't know where to cut the pieces until I get right. there. Oh yeah, this is just going to rest up and over the wave. I was like, how am I going to know exactly where to put it? Right. Oh, God. Okay, let's go see how this goes. Watch your step below those buckets. Okay, I'm going to start right here underneath the wave and work my way around. Okay, I'm just using a little block of wood to center this in here. Thanks to Mike Guyver <laughs> fixing that up for me. Wasn't much you of, rock, my honey. Wasn't much of a Mike Guyver solution. <laughs> right? It was a piece of wood. It's more like a caveman solution. Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> It's working though. Dang, I'm so messy with this. I wish I could just be all neat and perfect. <laughs> I'm just not a mason by trade, you know? I do this a lot better on my small little mug projects than I do on a whole wall. See how clumsy this is to work with in this small space? What do I do with that spongy float? Oh, it's right behind you. And this one, it's going to be hard to put in because I don't have the other red to match up with yet from the sunset. So I don't really know whether to go you know, a little bit higher, a little bit lower, whatever. Okay, this is where I need to make some minor adjustments. Should I cut it first and then put them up there, or put them up there and then cut them and slide them? Yeah, do it that way. Or either way, I don't. I because don't think I'm it afraid matters. I'm gonna I'm gonna end up getting the cloud or something crooked. is going almost right up to the top but it's because I left gaps down here. Oh yeah, I wouldn't touch it. Okay, I'm not going to press this in yet until I get it done all the way across. Oh, shoot, it's a good thing I didn't press that in. 
You also have room to move up if it's... No, you don't, actually. That one can stay. That one looks like it can stay. These two, I'm going to leave right there and come back to them in a second. I brought my tools out here to break them and fix them on the new spot. It's looking good. I am going to have to cut these and spread them a little bit to get them where I want them. Okay, I gotta go back in and press these all in really hard too. That was an amazing cut. Let's try. That was an amazing cut. Okay, what do you think? Shall we move on to the next wall? Now I have to make this whole wall match up with this wall though, and now we don't know what that's going to do. That might right. cause some serious ramifications throughout the rest did of you the cause? Did you account for the fact that there's quarter inch tile on each side? Ish. Okay. I did to the best I could with the measurements I have, but now going in there and measuring the finished amount of tile that I have laid out and coming in here and measuring the actual wall, there is a discrepancy. Like I, I'm just having to wing it and just see how it turns out. All right, let's do it. Oh, I forgot this. Let's do this wall real quick first. Oh yeah, this wall was much easier. I like this one. Perfect. Okay. Uh oh. What? Not matching up. These little edges are sticking out over here. Perfect. Yeah, you get some goop in the thin set in the corners. Up here? Yeah. This is the part I'm the most nervous about. What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't look straight and come out right? This is the part I've been stressing out about. In the end, it's just going to be amazing. <laughs> In the end, it's going to be finished, whether it's finished right or not. At least it will be done. God, I'm so nervous about putting the sunset, I mean sunrise on. I'm just like almost sick to my stomach. I'm so nervous about it. Oh no, 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 no. I went too close to the wall. Mm. exactly how close or how far to make it. Just go for it, man. 
Oh, sure, easy for you to say. How's it lining up? Um, okay, it's giving me extra room. I can go back this way. You know what? It looks really good. Very exciting. I know. Exciting and nerve-wracking. Yeah, I know what you mean. I really do. There's been so many projects that have been... Okay, see, this is totally... This is why I didn't want to push them in yet. Because, yeah. holy crap, how do I fix this? Look at your sign. It looks amazing! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Strong work. Look at that. High five on an awesome, good son. You did a hell of a job on this and you really put the time and effort into this. No one can deny that. <laughs> you know, it took you two years to make this. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> We're not counting. We made fun of V on uh, Ian Robinson, but boy, she ain't got nothing on you. <laughs> of how long it took? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm shaking the whole bus. <laughs> you are. Looks like you could go up more. God, this is... Remember how worried I was that I was going to have an extra inch gap in mm -hmm. here? I measured it 58 times. You probably should have had me measure it once. No, it doesn't make <laughs> sense to me. I mean, I scooted, I, I right. left a gap between kind of the sky and the water, mm -hmm. but I didn't think that was going to be enough to solve the problem. I thought I was going to have to cut between every single strip of blue sky and spread them a little farther apart. It's going in way better than I expected. I thought there was going to be a huge gap up here and I'm just shocked that there's not. I measured it so many times and I was like, oh no, the measurements are off. And now they're like, they're just going on right on. Dude, that sponge thing is the Floaty McFloat face. Dude, that just looks amazing. It's really turning out awesome, actually. Okay, I think we're done for today. Today? Unless you want to do the other wall. Why wouldn't we? Oh, okay. I don't know, I was just thinking because last time we did two walls, but you're right, we might as well keep going. It's early in the day. No. Yeah. I think I'm going to spread it in here with my glove. I think it's going to be hard, too hard to do it with this. What do you think? I'll use that little plastic thing. That's just me. I don't have it in here. You better hurry. That sounds dry. Sounds good. To me. Oh, I was worried about that one. So was I.
Nice. I'm gonna help you. No. Scrape it up and take what you capture and re-spread it. And spread it right now. Okay. What? Here we go. Please match up. through my stuff. I'm just cutting through the top surface. I'm not cutting all the way through to the thin set or beyond. That needs to come down a little. Nice. Wow, that actually fit. You are not me. <laughs> I am measurement you man. You saw me. You saw how many times I walked back and forth, back and forth, from out here back into the house, measuring, measuring, measuring like crazy Think every of time. Second opinion would have been in there. <laughs> <laughs> However, so, let me just tell you how good this looks on the camera. <laughs> amazing. Good. That is amazing what you're doing right now. It's so pretty. That big cloud is amazing. Cool. Oh my god, it looks so good. Look at that. There's a balloon! And it tells the story of my life. It tells the story of the things that actually happened to me. Well, it is what it is. Tell the story. Okay, so I lived on a ranch out in the middle of nowhere, the Cajica Ranch down in the San Rafael Valley, which is only a couple miles off the border from Mexico. And one morning, early in the morning, I was hearing the most bizarre sound outside our house, like a sound I had never heard before and couldn't put my finger on what it was. I was freaked out. <laughs> So I went outside and I walked along till I got to the end of the house and then around the edge of the house I could see this hot air balloon coming up through the valley, like this hot air balloon, the purple and green and white. And so we were like crazy. I ran back in this house and got dressed. I was in my pajamas and I got dressed, grabbed Jasper, he was like a little baby, and we ran back outside and the balloons were coming closer and coming closer and then it came down and it landed to pick us up and give us a ride. I tried to bring my little son with me, but he, I don't even think he was two yet. He must've been like one and a half. He would have no part of it. He was scared to death. So I got to go up in this hot air balloon, like in the middle of like nowhere, a freak, freak occurrence. It was the coolest thing that ever happened to me. That is a neat story. <laughs> it's okay. too bad I didn't have the record button on. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a brat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get out of the shower so I can show everybody how amazing this is. Because it right. is amazing. I'm getting out of the shower. Casing, Kay, Carrie amazing the whole shower. I amazing it up. Yeah, it is the amazing. Mom Katie thinks it's amazing too. I love the clouds. It's so cool. Yeah. Like, look in here. Look. Very, um, a stark contrast in that shocking white against the 
the dark blue, huh? It's beautiful. You did a great job. And look at how much the paint color almost matches the really colors close. of these dishes. Yeah. So really crazy. Close. Uh oh. There's a loose one right there. Push it in. We'll check on it later. If it comes out when you pull tape, then and we'll know it's time to put it back in. Then it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, you guys, it is such a trip to see the whole thing from out here with all this color. It is a riot of color. I mean, <laughs> this place looks like where rainbows go to have a party. <laughs> There's so much color. I love it. It's exactly what I wanted, though. I mean, exactly what I didn't want was to have just like white, 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 like white walls, white ceiling, white floors, white shower. Like I did not want a bus that was absent of color <laughs> and it shows in my finished design, right? <laughs> I love it. This thing is crazy. It does look like a party of rainbows. <laughs> to love